Here are 10 of my favorite European journeys, most of them associated with the Eurail Pass. And starting on the map, the first one indeed is a boat journey, but the uh, rail pass is generally uh, valid. And it goes from uh, Stockholm Vartan to Finland, two choices, one to Turku and the other one to Helsinki. I like the one going to Turku because it makes a nice, faster connection to Tampere in Finland. In uh, Sweden, it leaves from the harbor Vartan, and that's done, uh, if you will, with the uh, metro, the t in uh, Stockholm, going toward Robson, but getting off at the exit prior. The second one, going downward, is from uh, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Kopam, if you will, to Hamburg. This is now mostly with German equipment and now takes no reservations. It's one of the two remaining day boat train journeys in Europe, the other one being in the boot of Italy to Messina in Sicily. On the train between Hamburg and Copenhagen, the uh, train boards a ship, and you can get off if you have to, and you go up and have a nice little meal. It's really a delight. The third one's between Dublin and London. The rail part of the journey via Virgin Trains is not covered by a uh, Eurail Pass, but if one does their diligent homework far in advance, one can get very, very cheap fares. It leaves from uh, London, Euston, and then you change at Hollyhead to Irish ferries to get the Eurail Pass discount. There's a bus connecting in the Dublin Harbor, and be sure to note that there is a bus connecting back in the morning, and it leaving it at, say, 8.30, exact fare only, 2 euros. Our next one is from London St. Pancras, a couple of blocks away from London Euston, to the continent. Here I've made it to Lille, France, which gives you a cheaper fare and allows connections to Brussels and Paris. Uh, noted here, while the rail pass does give a discount, it is far better to go to the site, preferably the Belgian site, for the Eurostar, and you get a better currency conversion that way and if you go far in advance also looking for those senior discounts you can get a far far cheaper fare than the Eurail discount also using Lil makes it even cheaper if you're connecting via a train that is covered by the pass the next one's between Cologne Köln, Köln and Frankfurt using not the high-speed ICE reservation free service connecting to Brussels which, if you're in a hurry, is appropriate, but instead the old-timey route along the Rhine, using inner city service and sometimes an occasional Swiss train, a delight in terms of meal service, and a view of literally dozens of castles on the both sides of the river. Also, that changeover in Cologne gives you a chance to visit the nearby cathedral on the other side of the train station, probably one of the grandest in Europe. Our next one's between Berlin and Vienna via Prague, Praha. The trains actually continue onward to and from Hamburg, uh, Graz, Villach. Uh, the train service is such that you get uh, a nice exposure to a Czech experience and you can actually do it with a stopover of a couple of hours because they run every two hours and is highly recommended. Also, it goes along the Elbe on the eastern side of Germany, what sometimes is called the Rhine of the East. Our next one is between Munich, Monaco, if you will, not to be confused with the other one in south of France, and Verona and Bologna in Italy. There's other service to Verona and Venezia, but this one to Bologna takes no reservations, one of the few inner city trains in Italy that does so, and is one of the last of the great old tiny trains in terms of ambience and service. Uh, the Orient Express is no more in terms of the classic one, having been replaced by the TGV in the French portion, and now runs as a second class overnight coach. Our next one is in Switzerland between Filizur and Davos, Switzerland. 
On the Phil Azure side, it connects to the Glacier Express, not covered by the rail pass. But this journey from Phil Azure to Davos is and is one of the most spectacular in Europe, if not Switzerland. Our penultimate rail journey is in the south of France between Perpignan and font remu in the south of France in the Pyrenees. The latter can be accessed from uh, Toulouse or from Barcelona as well. The train is in open air cars and crosses the second highest rail suspension bridge in the world, stops at the highest train station in France, and is a wonderful diversion as a tourist train, although your rail passes are fully valid thereon. Our last one is the Soule Express, connecting Lisbon to the French border at Undai Irun. This recently renovated train has a lot of character and a lot of characters. The train is international, so it's not nominally usable for bookings to say Salamanca or uh, say making a change at Burgos for a night train to Vigo but I've done both with a rail pass because the reservation charges are the same second class is cheaper you book it all the way through making those suggested changes